welcome back to my channel. I'm Lisa and this is Beautiful You Wig Reviews. I'm so glad that you're here today. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and also hit that bell and then you will never miss any of my wig related videos. I am bringing you a review today for PinkyPromise.com. Go to the Pinky Promise website and sign up to receive their emails and you will get a code for 30% off. You can also email support at PinkyPromise.com if you ever have any wig related questions. So today I'm bringing you a review for this gorgeous new style by Beltress that I am just loving. I love this style so much. This is Single Origin and the color on this one is Champagne with Apple Pie. So I will have more on her in just a moment. started with talking about single origin. So single origin is part of the cafe collection. So these are, you know, the Beltress heat friendly fibers. So you could add more curl, you could straighten her. But honestly, I love the wave pattern in this wig. It's just very subtle, very natural, just a very, very pretty pattern. So I will do a 360 so you can see her all the way around and then we'll get into her measurements and stuff like that. So very, very pretty. Okay, so this is my left. The back. My right side. And back to the front. Okay, so she is a left mono part lace front. So here is that lace front. And on this particular one, you know, since this one is obviously, this is a blonde blonde. So I don't feel like those light, you know, uh, colors placed up there I like the way they look. Some people don't like that. Some people want that rooting right around the face. Um, you know, so you can pluck it or you could add rooting if that bothers you. But you know, the rooting is actually a pretty light color. So I feel like this looks pretty natural in my opinion. So, so nice lace front. Here is her mono part. Had a little trouble getting that mono part to loosen up. It would probably need some more work and a little steam, but you know, if I pull it tight, you can see that monofilament there. And then her ear tabs, I've got good coverage. This is an average size cap. It's fitting me nicely on my petite head ear to ear. The cap is not impinging on the back of my ears, but there is definitely extra room. You know, it's definitely an average and, and would go above average. So Beltress wigs are nice because they can be, you can pull in the adjusters and they can fit petite heads, but then they also fit, you know, above average. So, so very nice. Okay, so measurement wise on her, her front and sides are 11 to 12 inches. And then her back is 12 inches and her nape is, it says five to five and a half. So there must be, sometimes on these napes, it's slightly shorter underneath. I think that must be the deal. And then the very end of the nape is five and a half inches. So, and then overall, she's so overall, she's five to 12 inches. Weight wise, she is 4.3 ounces. So pretty much, you know, an all one length wavy lob. So very pretty cut. Okay, I'll pop her off. We can look at the inside of her cap. All right, so I'll show you that mono part up close. Like I said, I still need to open it up a little bit. Okay, so there is the inside of that mono part, left side mono part. And then she's got temple to temple lace. Just goes from the top of the ear tab to the top of the ear tab. She's got just closed wefting up here. No permatease that I can find on this wig. She has the soft felt ear tabs, plenty of hair for off the face styling, which is nice. Nice size piece of metal in there. Open weft it all through the cap. Pull adjusters. No extended nape. I wish it had an, I think with a five, five, five and a half inch nape, I'd like to see an extended nape personally. And then she's got plenty of stretch. I'll show you her wave pattern up close here. Isn't it pretty? It's just very subtle. Just a little less wavy than Caliente and less layered than Caliente, but she kind of reminds me of Caliente and I think that's why I love the style so much because Caliente is definitely one of my favorites. Okay, let's talk about this beautiful blonde color, Champagne with Apple Pie. So the color code that I found online for this color is 14R, which is the root, 16, 613, 
103. So these are all, you know, light blondes with a, you know, light golden brown uh, rooting. So the description of the color is that it's a medium warm blonde blended with a buttery neutral pale blonde with platinum highlights and light golden brown roots. So you can see the rooting. I think the rooting actually shows a little dark on camera. Maybe when I shut off the lights, it'll look lighter. The rooting is not dark, so don't feel like it is. You know, some of the Beltra styles have that two root. This is nothing like that. It's much, much lighter. So definitely a 14. Beautiful, beautiful blended blonde shades. I always wondered about this color on me. I think it's a little light for my complexion, but Beautiful color nonetheless. Okay, so there's that rooting. The rooting will show, I think, more true outside. And then, just without the bright light shining on it, these blondes here. Buttery, pale, neutral blonde, and a platinum, a warm blonde. So under my patio cover, see that rooting? Beautiful shade. There's the lace front. So see what I'm talking about about that rooting is light. I'm gonna step into the shade because just the glare of the sun, you really can't see the true colors. But see how lighting that light the rooting is. styling and glasses and all that kind of stuff. So she's low density, like I said, no permatease. So she is ear tuckable. Easy with glasses, she'd be easy, you know, with your sunglasses. She looks cute with the leopard headband. And then I think I like to pull out some hair here. That might be too much, but just pull out it. Pull out that curl around your face. Looks cute. And then you can also, of course, just stick the headband or scarf or whatever into her. Cute. So with this, uh, you know, 11 to 12 inch length all the way around, of course, you can pull her back in a half up, half down. You just have to work on her a little to get her flattened. But again, I think I would want to have a little hair hanging down in the front. You know, maybe a little bit on both sides. Something just, you could also cut some little baby hairs in her. And that would be pretty. And then as far as like pony, I don't know. She doesn't have an extended nape. I think you could pull her in a low pony, like if you just wanted to get her off your neck or something. She has the length for it, but she does not have an extended nape. So I wouldn't want to go, you know, high pony. Um, you might be able to get a low twist. Yeah, you could do a low, but again, Keep it low because you don't have an extended knee. And then of course, you know, you could do all kinds of things, braid her, um, do some pretty things, you know, off the face, pretty clips and things like that. That one looks cool with her, but she'd be really pretty, you know, with a, with a braid and pulled back. And then, you know, you can just pull her all the way off the face if you want to, because she's got this nice lace front, so. So very, very pretty, fun to style. 
really beautiful. I bet I have to say, I like her down. <laughs> she just looks like you really know how to do those waves <laughs> with your curling iron. She just looks amazing. So really, really pretty. Okay. I want to thank Pinky Promise for sending this wig to review for you all. There will be purchase information below this video. Thank you so much for watching today. And until next time, don't forget, you're absolutely beautiful. Bye.